In the scriptures it says, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Hello and welcome to the Emmaus Village Studio. During this time of remembrance, we reflect upon the many men and women who gave their lives the ultimate sacrifice to keep us safe. I'd like to offer you the chance to be still and to reflect upon the many people who lost their lives in World War I and World War II and the many caught up in the violence of war and conflict. Hello, my name's Andy Scott. I sometimes work as part of the medical team for YMT during the summer festival. A few of you will probably have met me during that time. I'm also a paramedic for North East Ambulance Service. And when I'm not doing all that, I'm a reservist and a colour sergeant with eight rifles based at Durham. I walked into a TA centre 
over 30 years ago at Washington and thought it was about time that I gave a little bit back to the community around me and decided that the role of reservist would be a way for me to do that. My family have been involved with the military for many, many years. My grandfather and my great-grandfather and great-uncles have served in the First World War and the Second World War. And I thought it was probably right that I should follow in their footsteps and become a soldier as well. I'm just going to share with you for a short moment why Remembrance Day is important. On Remembrance Sunday, remember the military personnel, the soldiers, the seamen and the airmen that have gave their lives in both world wars and conflicts around the world since then. It's also time to remember the civilians who were caught up in war, civilians who have had war thrust upon them, people who just want to go about living their own lives, but unfortunately, war has come to them. People in Afghanistan, the people of Iraq, the people of Libya, and many other places around the world where war is part of their daily lives. It's a time to reflect on how it impacts on all of us. Most of us have the one minute silence and that's all that that remembrance will mean to them. One minute to think back on the sacrifices that were given, the ultimate sacrifice by a lot of people so that we could live our lives in the modern world the way we want to, to live where we want, to do the jobs that we want, to marry the people that we want, to follow the faiths that we want, and live our lives in the way that we want. That sacrifice was given all them years ago so we could live our lives the way we want to live. For some of us, that minute is enough. For others, it's a full day. For myself, it's a full day. I have the service and the period of remembrance on the morning and then I catch up with my colleagues, with the veterans, with the cadets on the afternoon and we remember our friends and colleagues who may not be with us anymore or who cannot make it even. Other members of the forces have their remembrance every day. Some members of the forces suffer badly and remember all the time the sacrifice that their friends and colleagues have given. As you can see in my hat, I have a poppy. The poppy is a symbol of remembrance and it comes from the flowers that have grown around the battlefields of World War I in France and Belgium. After the artillery had finished and the machines of war had finished churning up the ground, the poppies grew all over the battlefields and became that symbol of remembrance that we still wear today. So please, wherever you might be, and whatever might be going on in your life, please spare at least that one minute to remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.